subscribe to our channel, thereby you will be of great help in promoting it on YouTube. In this short video we will show only one section of this picturesque road Velingrad, of Ramavo and back. Travel time one way takes less than one hour. During this time, the train will pass 18 tunnels, six times change its direction of movement by 180 degrees. The Guardian has compiled a ranking of the most beautiful train routes in Europe. A trip on a narrow gauge railway along the route September, Dobernishta was included in the list of the most picturesque travels in Europe by train. The top 10 was compiled and published by the well-known British publication The Guardian. The small town of September, which came to life with the arrival of the railway line from Istanbul to Vienna in 1873, is the beginning of a narrow gauge route to the Bulgarian hills, writes the newspaper. And he continues, the line to Dobrinishta is not built for speed, tough slopes and tight spirals mean that progress is often painfully slow, but it has its advantages, it offers magnificent views of three mountain ranges, the Rhodopes, Rilla, and Pirin. Along the way, you can see eagles and white storks, partridges and bats. And he adds that the narrow gauge railway, moreover, has a pleasantly low fare. The only narrow gauge railway in Bulgaria today connects the westernmost part of the mountain Thracian Valley with the Rodo, Rilla and Pirin mountain ranges. A plan for the construction of such a railway section was presented as early as 1916. The narrow gauge railway began to be laid in 1922, and was fully completed only in 1945. The railway line was built in several stages. The first section of September, Belingrad was opened on August 1, 1926. The last section of Bonsko, Dobrinishta was put into operation on December 9, 1945. The length of the September Dobrinishta railway is 124.7 km. The average speed of a train on the line is 25 km per hour and it takes more than 5 hours to cover the route. The low speed of the train is determined by the complexity of the track and the width of the track. The train goes from September to Dobrinishta through 12 railway stations and 13 stopping platforms. Due to the nature of the route, the road is known as the Alpine Railway in the Balkans. However, unlike the railways in the Alps, the Bulgarian narrow-gauge railway is not electrified, it runs diesel locomotives. On the route at an altitude of 1,267 meters there is a stopping point of Ramovo, the highest railway station in the Balkans. 35 tunnels were built along the entire route. The longest tunnel number 32 near of Ramavo has a length of 314 meters. There are four spiral viaducts between the stations of Svetopika and Chernomesta. With the closure of the narrow gauge line Chervenbrag, or Yahavo in 2002, September, Dobrinishta remained the only narrow gauge railway line in Bulgaria. A few years ago, they also thought about closing it due to unprofitability, but fortunately, they kept it. The narrow gauge rolling stock is old and small. Therefore, problems often arise with its repair and operation. There are also few passengers today, sometimes several people on the entire train. Although now most travelers on this railway line are tourists or lovers of beautiful views, the road has not lost its practical purpose. It connects the cities and villages of the region. On many sections of the 125-kilometer route, the narrow-gauge railway remains the only form of public transport, and for some highland villages, the only connection with the world. Our wonderful train arrives at Avramovo station. We go out for a walk and in about an hour we will return by another train back to Velingrad. Avramovo is the highest railway station in Bulgaria, in the Rodope Mountains. Avramovo is also the highest station in the Balkans, located at an altitude of 1,267 meters above sea level. The train continues its movement further, already without us. There are many more beautiful places and stations ahead. One of them is the wonderful mountain resort of Bonsko.
Now after a short walk. At Avramovo station back to the city of Velingrad, the capital of SPA tourism in Bulgaria. Some pages still have elements of the old infrastructure. This is the system for refueling steam locomotives with water. This is an old system of signals for drivers of steam locomotives and diesel locomotives. Horizontally emitted indicates a command to stop. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to our channel, thereby you will be of great help in promoting it on YouTube.